Hello, hope y'all are doing well. Today we're going to talk about usual ductal hyperplasia of the breast. Thank you to Path Presenter for this slide. Here we have a, a breast core biopsy. Um, you can ha either have a stereotactic um, biopsy, which is when uh, you see calx on mammography, and they'll use x-rays to help uh, locate that lesion with calx. And then there's also ultrasound guided. That's when you don't have calx, but you do see a mass. So first things first, um, you want to see if there are any calx if, if this were a, a stereotactic biopsy. Here we have some background fibrosis, um, some adipose tissue because breast is very fatty, and we see some uh, ducts here. Um, we see some histiocytes and surrounding inflammation, maybe a little bit of duct ectasia, but um, you know the the main lesion of interest is right here. Um, when you first start out looking at breast biopsies, you might be inclined to think, wow, this is very cellular, this is bad, this is cancer. Um, rest assured, this is not cancer. Some hints to get you there um, is it's uh, like prostate and breast in particular, if it looks very similar to each other, each cell looks similar to each other, then that's worrisome for cancer. You know, in other organ systems, if it looks similar, that's okay. When it looks very different from each other, you might think it's cancer, but breast and prostate in particular, um, cancer looks very kind of like, um, similar to each other, They're, they don't differ. Here, on the contrary, they do differ a lot. And what I mean by differing is, look how jumbled up they are. They are not respecting each other's spaces. They're overlapping. And they kind of have this, if, if there were a, a, a big fan that's blowing at high speed, they kind of look windswept. Or um, one faculty has noted, like if you take a toothpick and try to make some slit-like spaces, um, that is also um, some a, a soft sign for usual ductal hyperplasia. A DCIS, it would each cell would um, kind of respect each other's spaces, and it can have a nucleoli, and it would be larger. Um, another soft sign for UDH, uh, my staff told me, is you have these uh, intranuclear pseudo-inclusions. I don't see them here, but maybe this is one, but they're called helioid bodies. Actually, I think this is a myoepithelial cell. Uh, I think this is a myoepithelial cell. These are myoepithelial cells. And myoepithelial cells are good because it's the absence of myoepithelial cells that makes something an in situ lesion to a carcinoma, where when you don't have these myo um, If you do have myo and the lesion looks cancerous, then it's, de it's either ductal carcinoma in situ or lobular carcinoma in situ. Um, but in this case, we have neither. Um, but just going back to my point about um, you can have intranuclear pseudo occlusions. They're called helioid bodies, and that's a soft clue that this is usual ductal hyperplasia. And um, it, there are cases where it's just it's really hard to determine. Um, not necessarily in this case, but other cases. And in that case, this these are the two stains you want to order: uh, CK56 and ER. Why? Because CK56 and ER for UDH will be patchy. That's the key word, patchy. Um, if this were DCIS, CK56 would be negative and ER would be diffusely positive because it's a clonal lesion. Okay. Um, and then just, just surrounding, there's some uh, columnar cell change with some tufting. And, um, but otherwise, um, this, there isn't, I'm not concerned for a um, ductal carcinoma in situ or invasive ductal carcinoma. Lastly, let's just talk about statistics. If, if, you, if you were diagnosed with UDH, um, you have a 1.5 approximately relative risk of developing 
um, ductal carcinoma. So, I mean, it's compared to someone who doesn't have UDH, it's just a relative, like, small risk. Um, in contrast to, so if this were atypical ductal hyperplasia, which is a level below DCIS, you would have four to five times the risk. And if it were DCIS, um, you would have 10 times the risk compared to a regular person. And remember, when it becomes invasive ductal, um, you don't have the myoepithelial cells and you, you, your um, stroma becomes desmoplastic. All right, well, that is it for today. Um, I'll see you next time.